Welcome to this first video in the series of demonstrations on Redwood's automation platform. In this video, we'll have an understanding of the basic principles of the product, its architecture, and how you can build automated processes within it. And in order to have an understanding of what is required, let's have a look at a very stereotypic finance process in order to understand what's really needed. And if we look at the different tasks that finance people are performing to do the work required, it follows a very typical scheme, which is what we're looking at right now. So typically the processes that they do start with retrieving data from various sources, maybe from an ERP system, maybe from a web page or from a legacy application. And so people would pull out the information from those systems and put that together, maybe reconcile it, merge it. After the data has been retrieved, the data is typically transformed, calculations are being made, evaluations are being made. And once that part of retrieving and evaluating and processing the data is completed, then typically something is forwarded to other people for approval or for information. After the approval process is then the data is typically put back again somewhere, either it's posted to an ERP system again, or appropriate entries are created elsewhere until the data is processed successfully. And last but not least, an audit trail has to be created to show what the activities were and the evidence and the results that the person has performed. And that is also, or that are also the seven types of tasks that are to be performed in case we want to completely automate a finance process. So it is around the ability to retrieve data from various sources. It is around reconciling and merging information. It is required to transform and calculate data. And of course, it is required to manage process flows, involves approvals and notifications. And of course, putting it back into a system again and to keep an audit trail of it. Now, if we look at it from an automation implementation perspective, there are two dimensions of complexity in this. One dimension of complexity is, of course, we have to automate these tasks in a sense that the machine does it and the person is no longer required to do it. So each task has a, a complexity in it when we try to automate it. But also the second complexity is we need to be able to combine these automated tasks in a way so that it becomes a really end-to-end -end automated process and there is not a requirement to have various tools that cover all of these things in different ways. And that's the challenge when we want to automate finance processes. And now let's have a look at how this is being done within Redwood. And the fundamental uh, nature of the Redwood automation platform is that it is based on integrations. So we automate based on APIs and connectors, and we have a variety of integrations and connectors that allow us to automate processes in a large number of systems. We have, for instance, connectors for the most common ERP systems that allow us to automate things in there. We have connectors that allow us to send emails through an email server. We can consume and call web services. We can integrate with BI and reporting tools, consolidation tools, and a lot of other systems that are required to be automated. And based on these APIs integrations, customers can build automations and automated tasks. Now, in order to minimize the effort with that, we have already developed a catalog of predefined automated tasks. And those are components that are ready to be used. They are not code snippets or something similar. They are really ready to be used and they can be just, they are also supported by us. And the typical categories of those are, for instance, ERP transactions. So there is a, about couple of thousand of ERP transactions that you can use and automate right away. There are components in the catalog that you can use to, to in integrate human interactions into your end-to-end -end process. So whenever an appro approval is required, you could use one of those. There are components that allow you to retrieve data from a data store, such as OneDrive or SharePoint. And of course, all the automation components that you build yourself will be added to this catalog as well, so you can use them within your processes. And actually, when you then want to automate the actual process, you use the so-called Process Studio to do that. In the Process Studio, you basically define the fundamental process flow, the, the process 
decisions, the business rules. Here it, it is here where you combine these components, the pre predefined components, as well as your own developed components into that process flow. And you also have an additional tool to configure the data processing rules, which we call the data transformer. That is very powerful and it allows you to basically configure data processing as you would do in an Excel spreadsheet, but just in a repeatable and an automatable way. And once you have automated individual processes in the Process Studio, you can, you can then use the so-called Process Orchestrator to combine these individual automated processes to an even larger workflow. And a very typical example of this workflow would be a month end close. And the focus here is more on defining the dependencies in between these different individual processes, defining the timings and the SLAs and the deadlines for these processes, and also aligning the responsibilities of people that are supposed to monitor and own these processes as they are being done. Now, thanks for watching. We have had a quick look at the typical requirements of finance processes and what it would take to automate them. And we also had a quick look at what the architecture of Red Platform is that allows you to do so. Please make sure you also watch the following videos in this series so you get a better impression of the product itself. You have a product demonstration and even more explanations of how this is work. Thanks for your attention.